It's that dreaded time of day again, the afternoon commute home. Crowded subway cars, delays, and plenty of frustration. Um, it, when it's overcrowding in the doorways, it's, it's very bothersome because you can't exit. Well, years ago, I'd get on in between before everyone got out of this train, and then I'd sit down rather than waiting for everyone to get off. But now I learn to travel at certain times of day. While delays are up overall 45%, Delays from overcrowding are up a dramatic 113% since last year. Jeffrey Zupan, a senior fellow at the Regional Plan Association, says the reason for the overcrowding is that a lot of people are taking the subway. It, it affects subconsciously your quality of life. Uh, and it makes, it, it makes your day less pleasant. Six million people in New York City ride the subway every day, and that number isn't slowing down even when the trains are. Many commuters are left wondering if the crowded train is worth the price, especially when fare hikes are to hit again this month. Still, some riders seem to be adjusting. It can be bad at rush hour, but, but I guess you gotta take it with a grain of salt. You know how many people have to commute in and out of the city. Sometimes trains run slow, so I mean, it's not aggravating, but it is a thing. I'm used to tight space cells in the military for five years, so uh, Marine Corps philosophy is you can always fit one more. So uh, it, it's, it's, I deal with it. The MTA has acknowledged this overcrowding problem, but it's still unclear what's going to be done about it. One thing is for sure, it's going to cost a lot of money to build new lines, upgrade signal systems, and add more trains. It's expensive and requires money that the MTA doesn't currently have. 77 years is the youngest part of the system with a couple of minor exceptions. So that's old, and it's getting older every year and requires a lot of money to, to make sure it stays in, in workable condition. So it seems the cramming into subway cars may be here to stay, at least until some more money rolls into the station. Shannon Louis Brand, Columbia News Tonight.